military technology. The PL-01 concept tank, developed by Obram, part of Poland Defense Holdings, with the cooperation of BAE Systems, was recently unveiled at the MSPO 2013 Defense Exhibition. The tank weighs 35 tons and is 7 meters long, 3.8 meters wide and 2.8 meters high, and is operated by a crew of three people. Using adaptive technology, the hexagonal Peltier plates on the surface can adjust temperature to ambient levels, rendering the tank invisible to infrared sensors. The tank also features 350 degrees observation capability during the day and night. Comprised of a chassis with an unmanned turret with an auto-loading 105mm or 120mm caliber cannon, the PL-01 is intended to act as a fire support combat vehicle. According to Poland Defense Holdings, the PL-01 is expected to begin production in 2018 and be ready for export in 2022. Iron Man may no longer be a movie fantasy. Now the US Army is developing a tactical assault light operator suit designed to provide soldiers with superhuman strength and greater ballistic protection. The Iron Man armor suit can monitor a soldier's heart rate, hydration levels and core body temperature. The suit would respond to the data supplied by an onboard computer hooked up to sensors to keep a soldier in the optimum condition for battle. The body armor can transform from liquid to solid in milliseconds when a magnetic field or electrical current is applied. If a soldier is wounded, the Talos suit would monitor their health or even stop the bleeding using a wound stasis program. While an exoskeleton, likely powered by hydraulics, gives the wearer superhuman strength. The lightweight suit will also provide the wearer with night vision, increasing a soldier's mobility. Antennas provide capacity for communications. Like all good superheroes, however, Talos has a weakness, as it currently needs a heavy hydraulic pump or battery to help operate all the high-tech equipment. The military is testing some new toys. The U.S. Army is developing a prototype assault rifle to replace outdated M16 rifles and its variants such as the M4. The current generation of NATO rifles fire 5.56mm rounds or 7.62mm rounds. These measurements describe the bullet's diameter. The U.S. Army is testing several intermediate caliber bullets that fall between these two rounds. It is also testing cased telescoped ammo, which could be made of a plastic polymer material. Critics of the M4 rifle say the 5.56mm rounds it fires are less lethal than the longer distances required for modern warfare. Critics also cite improvements in enemy body armor, enemy use of bigger rounds, and jamming problems with the M16 and M4 as reasons the Army needs to upgrade its rifles. The new prototype rifle is expected to be ready by 2020. Drone Defender Rifle uses radio waves to disable drones. Shooting a drone or UAV out of the sky with a shotgun is potentially both illegal and dangerous, but a new weapon may soon provide an effective and non-violent way of disabling unwanted UAVs. The Ohio-based Battelle Memorial Institute, a private nonprofit science and tech development company, has announced the creation of the Drone Defender a shoulder-mounted, rechargeable, rifle-like weapon that takes UAVs offline with a blast of radio waves. The Drone Defender weighs just 4.5 kilos, or 10 pounds, and can target a drone up to 400 meters or over 1,300 feet away. The rifle fires waves of electromagnetic energy tuned to common GPS and ISM frequencies, disabling the UAV by blocking it from receiving commands. The radio waves from a drone defender should activate the disabled drone's safety protocol, making it hover, land, or return to its point of origin. Battelle says the defender could be used to protect prisons, schools, or historical sites, and of course has military and law enforcement applications as well. No information on the price of the drone defender has yet been released, but the device is expected to go on sale in 2016. The U.S. has a robot warship that can hunt enemy submarines. The Department of Defense is reportedly home to many a robotic contraption these days, but they've all got nothing on this bad boy. The Sea Hunter is an autonomous drone designed primarily to track enemy submarines that are equipped with quiet electric diesel engines. It is currently being tested by the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. 
Unveiled in April 2016, the 40 meter vessel can travel at 31 miles per hour. It has no armaments. Its design resembles a Polynesian outrigger canoe. This helps it navigate the ocean and handle challenging six meter high waves. Advanced software and hardware allow it to operate autonomously around other vessels and remain at sea for months at a time. The testing period is set to finish in 2018. If it's successful, it will be handed over to the U.S. Navy. Russia to unveil its new supertank, the T-14 Armada. Russia's fifth-generation main battle tank is so advanced its designers are telling Western media outlets that operating it is like playing a computer game. The T-14 Armada tank, which features an automated gun turret and a new type of reactive armor, was shown off by Russia during its May 9th victory parade in Moscow celebrating the 70th anniversary of the fall of Nazi Germany. The Armada will reportedly be faster than America's Abrams tank and will enter service next year. The new tank features a 125mm smoothbore cannon that fires missiles as well as shells, a remote-controlled machine gun, and an advanced armor package along three-quarters of its length. It could possibly hit speeds of over 80 km per hour, have a target detection range of over 5 km, and have a shooting range of at least 3.5 km. For increased survivability, its three crew will be protected by a multi-layer armor capsule that is separate from the ammunition container. The T-14 was designed to replace Russia's T-72 and T-90 main battle tanks. Russia plans for more than 2,300 armadas to enter service with its military over the next 15 years. The official cost of the new tank has not been disclosed, but observers say it may cost as much as a fighter jet. The acquisition of 2,300 armadas is part of a 400 billion U.S. dollar program to upgrade Russia's military that also includes hundreds of aircraft and missiles and dozens of new Navy ships. Drones equipped with machine guns set to alter combat forever. A Florida-based startup has developed the technology to equip drones with firearms and weaponry that will drastically change the way wars are fought and lessen the loss of life to soldiers. The TCAD is a multi-rotor drone able to carry and fire military weapons up to 22 pounds, which includes semi-automatic rifles and grenade launchers. The latest TCAD drone models are designed to be remotely operated by soldiers on the ground. The technology was initially conceptualized to better identify, target, and destroy terrorist agents, reducing the collateral damage of civilian casualties. Deploying fleets of these weaponized drones is also expected to reduce the need for military personnel to remain in the field. The drones are also built with a stabilization system able to handle the recoil of weapons fired from the sky. Reports indicate the makers of the drones, Duke Robotics, have already taken in an order from the Israeli military and are looking to outfit the U.S. military with them as well. The future of U.S. defense may well be under the sea. It won't be long before the Pentagon will be able to launch surprise attacks on America's enemies from deep beneath the sea. DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, is developing a defense technology using special pods that hibernate on the ocean floor until they are deployed. Called Upward Falling Payloads, or UFPs, the pods are 15 feet high and can contain drones or weapon systems. The pods would be pre-positioned throughout the world's oceans, lying dormant until they are activated in weeks, months, or years. Once released remotely, the UFP riser rapidly floats to the surface with the help of a buoyant collar. It then deploys on the surface, releasing whatever drone or weapon is contained inside. DARPA is currently building and sea testing the system's riser and communication components, the next phase will involve sea demonstrations. The Air Force is working on a new toy. This may or may not be a game changer. The U.S. Air Force is developing a new non-lethal cruise missile, which officials say could knock out North Korean missiles. It's called the CHAMP, which stands for a Counter Electronics High Power Microwave Advanced Missile Project. The CHAMP system is a high-powered microwave weapon that can be delivered on an air-launched cruise missile from an American bomber. The CHAMP missiles are designed to fly at low altitudes into enemy airspace and send out strong electromagnetic impulses in order to jam enemy control and command systems. Cruise missiles fired by the enemy would then splash down in the ocean. 
The system is still in the development phase and also has drawbacks. Although non-lethal, the missile looks similar to the nuclear-capable variant and could be mistaken as an act of war if spotted by other countries. Another obstacle for the CHAMP system is that military equipment often has redundant wiring and insulation to protect from electronic attacks. So is this a game changer? Probably not. U.S. fighter planes are getting an upgrade. The U.S. is finally taking a page from Star Wars and is now looking to equip its fighter planes with high-energy lasers. Lockheed Martin has been awarded a 26.2 million contract to design, develop and build a high-energy laser weapon for the U.S. Air Force's SHIELD program. The company delivered a 60-kilowatt laser for U.S. Army ground vehicles early this year and will produce a smaller system to test on tactical aircraft by 2021. Airborne laser weapons can defend against threats from enemy missiles, boosting the self-defense capabilities of military jets. The Lockheed Martin laser is one of three subsystems that make up the SHIELD program. A beam control system is being developed by Northrop Grumman, while a pod to power and cool the laser is being designed by Boeing. Time to level up. The Chinese have begun trialing a remotely controlled battle tank as part of plans to upgrade its armed forces. China's medium-sized Type 59 tank is equipped with a 100 or 105 millimeter cannon and typically requires a crew of four people to operate. The state is now testing an unmanned version of the tank with footage from Chinese media showing a soldier remotely driving the vehicle. Type 59 tanks were first used in the 1950s and are due to retire but can be equipped with artificial intelligence to turn them into autonomous vehicles. They will be able to work with other unmanned equipment and integrate information from satellites, aircrafts or submarines. For now, the unmanned Type 59 tanks still have technical issues and will likely go through more testing and tweaking before they can be fully combat capable.